Hello, 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 everyone. I've got another video just dropped into my lap here. Anyways, I've been getting some great comments and feedback on my videos on Cody High Roller uh, and uh, Press New Hampshire now, uh, Mr. Mark Manson. As a matter of fact, I've had four people reach out to me um, and have been feeding me all kinds of information on uh, Mr. Mark Manson. Uh, which has led to me um, making some public records requests uh, with the New Hampshire State Police, the New Hampshire uh, Judicial System, the Habersham County Sheriff's Office down there in Georgia, and the Habersham County Court Clerks. So some very interesting information has come up on uh, Mark Manchin, uh, also known as Press NH Now. So look forward to that video in the very near future. Um, when I get all those requests back, because there's going to be some very interesting video on that young man. Uh, but tonight I wanted to talk to you about the channel Matt Marsh, who is Matthew Lawrence Marshider from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Now, I first saw this video on uh, Takedown, Exposing Frauditors. Um, so a shout out to him. You know, he gave me the idea. Um, and um, I saw that... Uh, Matthew's channel there. Um, I decided to go to it and check it out a little bit and I saw a short video of him fucking around and finding out. You remember uh, when I made a video about Cody Hyroller a little bit back there saying something about my mother and I always said you don't mess around with anybody's mother? Well here's why. Now you grab your popcorn and get yourself ready. Because we're going to get ready to board the crazy train of frauditing. Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh. Can you use cameras in here now? No, I'm talking about... Oh, last time I was here, you said you couldn't use cameras in here. Remember? Okay, I did. Yeah. You don't like being recorded, do you? Bro, if you come in here to play, man, I'm not... I'm not I'm playing. Play, what do you want to play? Backgammon? Cards? You want to play Rummy? You got some cards on you? How else am I supposed to scan the QR code? I don't know. He told me I couldn't use my phone last time I was here. Trying to throw me out, call the police on me. Remember that? You must have been. I don't want to date anybody. <laughs> you're trying to date her. You haven't talked to anybody, but a pretty girl comes in. You're trying to talk to her. You tried to fuck me this night, so you want to come fuck her. Fuck your mom. Make a good bro, baby this time. I'm fuck you up. Say my mom again, bro. Say my mom again. Say my mom again, bro. Say my mom again. Say it again, bro. Say it again. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Take the picture. Take the picture. Take the picture. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to uh, stop your cheering and your clapping and hooting and hollering because I know you all enjoyed that just as much as I did watching that security officer hand Matthew his ass because that was beautiful. But it, it really, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't it look to you like Matthew Marshider walked in that door looking for trouble? I mean, he walked right in and stopped right in that lobby when he didn't need to. He could have gone through the doors and into the uh, interior of the building. But no, he's walked right in, stopped right there, and then he stood there recording, knowing that he'd had a problem with that, <clears throat> excuse me, that same security officer a week before. So is this a setup? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's, it's a 100% planned he knew exactly what it was doing. He knew he could get a reaction out of the security officer. And then it just unfortunately delved in down further into what it did. Um, and then the security officer did what he did. But, you know, um, exposing frauditors video, I will put the link to that in, in my description box. Because um, his the video that he put up on his channel is actually like 15 minutes long. It shows the whole police response. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And that police response, uh, 
you'll find that they didn't even want to deal with that fucktard either. They didn't arrest him. Um, I think which really pissed him off even more. Uh, so Matthew ended up going down and battling charges at the police station. Rumor has it, um, he the um, security officer was cited for, I don't know, probably harassment or misdemeanor battery or something. Who knows? Um, you know, maybe fucking patting him or something. Who knows? Um, so I'm just hoping that the security officer made it through and nothing serious on the charges. And, I, you know, I would hope he'd get to keep his job, but I'm going to say he's not. Um, so I did uh, did some digging into uh, Mr. High and Mighty's background. And, uh, you know, Mr. Matthew Marshider's got a, got a little bit of a history. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, maybe people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, especially as many stones as Matthew Marshider likes to throw. So, yes, lady and gentlemen, we've got another Frogger winner amongst us there um, in the Frogger land. Um, he, he's a, he's a, a career criminal, got quite a few charges. He's only got three or four convictions that I have found. Um, he's got a history of drug abuse. Uh, he's got guns, gun charges. Uh, he's got a bankruptcy in the, in, uh, in the works. Uh, we've got a family physical abuse case um, that was uh, filed against him. And I'm not quite sure if that was his lovely bride or not, or if it was another family member, but strangulation was involved and um, battery touching or something like that, I believe they called it. Um, so we'll look that up here in just a minute. I'm going to show everybody everything. So, you know, uh, he's, uh, last time I was looking into him, I heard about a couple of failed businesses. Um, he's pretty shrewd. Uh, he's a con man. And uh, so the businesses didn't last for very long. So I'm thinking Matthew's life is a mess. Um, I don't know if he's still married or not. I can't find a, a divorce certificate, but I can't find uh, his wife's Facebook doesn't have his pictures on it or anything. So or his ex-wife, whatever she may be. So I'm thinking if his life is such a mess, I'm thinking, well, I'm just going to rub his nose in it a little bit, you know, let him uh, feel what it's like, uh, you know, with the way he treats people out there. For, for absolutely no reason to. I mean, the way he treats cops and security officers and, and, and public employees, get this, they're not fucking servants. They are public employees. But boy, they love throwing that servant word around, don't they? So anyways, he expects everybody to kiss his ass. So I'm going to hand him his ass. I'm going to expose him here tonight on this channel in this video. Hey folks, uh, let's get started on Matthew's first arrest that I could find, and that was on 12-14-19, just 11 days before Christmas. Uh, Matthew was arrested for possession of a Schedule One or Two narcotic, strangulation resulting in wounding or bodily injury, and lastly, simple assault on a family member. Uh, domestic violence going on in the home, but I don't know if that was on his wife or daughter or son or, uh, you know, um, maybe they had a party and it got a little out of hand and who knows what happened there. Um, I'll talk about the conviction on it later when I got the, bring up the convictions. Uh, and Mark's second arrest I could find um, was just three weeks later when he was arrested for violation of a pretrial order or conditions. I'm just going to guess here that he tried to or he did make contact uh, with his victim in the family assault case and, uh, and or strangulation. So. And then uh, Matthew's third arrest that I found here is uh, on 11-5-2020. But unfortunately, there are no charges, uh, as you can see there, uh, charges unknown or whatever. And uh, so I guess... Uh, we could think uh, as big as big or small as we want on that one there. I'm not going to say it's anything real big. And maybe we can find it on this other page that I have. Um, we'll just remember the date of 11-5. So in Virginia Beach Circuit Court, Mark, Mark, Matthew has a total of seven arrests. Uh, we have hit and run. Um, this isn't the actual date of the crime. This is... Um, when they're scheduled for something. Um, the failure to comply with a pretrial hearing, as you can see, that got dismissed. Uh, that was uh, that charge um, back in um, 11, 
something there where he got arrested for right after the um, family assault charge. Uh, and we have a texting while driving. My God, this guy's dangerous. Um, we have a petty larceny back in 1993. Uh, we have possession of, of uh, contraband of paraphernalia, and that is going to be a plea bargain for one of the drug charges that he had. Excuse me, we have a possession of drugs with a firearm. That one wasn't very smart of Mark, and he pled guilty to that one. We'll look up in a minute here and see uh, what the uh, penalty was for that one on uh, in his convictions. And then we have on um, the last one, Matthew Marshider, uh, possession of a Schedule One or Two drug, which he pled guilty on. Sounds like maybe, I wonder if he's got a drug problem. Okay, so Matt's first conviction is going to be from a charge back on 5-2-2019 for possession of a gun on a person with a Schedule One or Two narcotic. That is a Class Six felony. Um, he actually pled guilty on 8-24-2020 uh, by plea. They did amend the charge, as you can see down here in the lower left, to uh, possessing drugs with a firearm. I'm not sure what the difference is, whether it's less time, it's a less, you know, serious crime or, or what. I mean, it's still a felony, though. So um, his sentence on that one was three years suspended and his, uh, inf his, his indefinite probation has uh, continued. Okay, this incident is uh, from the same date. This is going to be the uh, drug charge that goes along with the gun there. As you can see here, it's, it's a felony. They charged him with possession of a Schedule One or Two drug. The date on that was 5-2-19 also. This is a Class 5 felony. I'm not sure how their numbers work, whether they go up or down, how serious they are. This all. Um, again, 824, he pled guilty. Um, this one, they actually amended the charge and lowered the uh, classification down to a misdemeanor, as you can see here on the on the lower uh, final disposition uh, part of the uh, screen. Um, they did do the guilty plea and all that. They gave him 12 months in jail suspended, so he did not do any days, and they gave him a $682 charge for court costs. All right, folks, and the last one I can find um, on the internet is um, the 12-14-2019 arrest. As you'll remember, that was the arrest for uh, strangulation, um, assault on a family member, and uh, possession of drugs. The only charge out of all of that that actually stuck is going to be the possession of a Scheduled One or Two drug. Um, it was a felony, uh, so it was a Class 5 felony. Again, I don't know what those numbers mean. Um, took them two years uh, to get a um, uh, deferred dip, dip, disposition, they're going to call it here. Um, so what happened was is they dismissed the case um, by a guilty plea. So he pled guilty to this drug charge, felony drug charge, and they gave him $565 court cost fees uh, for the charge. So that was his three convictions. And lastly, I want to touch on a video that Matthew posted several days ago of a car repossession. Mr. High and Mighty here decided to name the video Repo Drama, Remember to Make Your Car Payment. And it shows him and a tow truck driver out trying to repossess a vehicle from a young man. So I, isn't it a little smug and a little hypocritical of you, Matthew, seeing how you're in the middle of a bankruptcy for you to say something like that to say to somebody else? Maybe you should pay your bills, Matthew, and then you wouldn't be in the middle of a bankruptcy, would you? So uh, didn't you file for bankruptcy in 2021, which has been going on for almost two years now? You know, Matthew, people in glass houses, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Matt Marsh, a.k.a. Matthew Lawrence Marshider of Virginia Beach, Virginia. A hypocrite, an egomaniac, a career criminal, a druggie, a family member abuser, a fraud, and a frauditor. 
and another person, just another one with a channel, who has a bone to pick with the police because they've arrested him and he's been convicted. Uh, it was my pleasure to expose another punk who attempts to hide behind the First Amendment in the disguise of being an independent journalist to abuse the public, the public employees, security officers, and the police. And I want to thank you all so much for coming to watch this video. I know it's long. I get kind of chatty sometimes, or, or my information is, is there's a lot of it so that the video goes on for a little bit. I hope you all have watched this far. I think I'm into the 16-minute mark. Um, uh, but thank you for the confidence um, that I can entertain you because you keep coming back for more of the crazy train of frauding. Please click like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future. Tell your friends and your enemies. Tell all your family members and co-defendants. Tell your co-workers and all your exes about the channel. Get, see if we can, how big we can make this grow. Um, I would rather grow slowly and then, you know, uh, I, I did appreciate in the very beginning when I jumped, you know, 1,300 uh, subscribers really, really quick. And that was, again, it was always due to bigger channels that sent people my way that I'm always going to be grateful to. So the channel is only going to grow with the help of your word of mouth. So I hope you will, uh, you know, tell a lot of people about it. You know, you all are awesome. I really appreciate it. So, folks, until next time. Y'all take care now.